It's my feel-good breakfast show. Imagine a world in which the internet, mobile phones, GPS, satellite, television, ATMs, weather forecasting, and even air travel didn't exist. I mean, we use these devices on the daily without even realizing that most of them actually send out data into space to satellites that are positioned around the Earth. And of course, without space, science, technology, and engineering, we would quite literally be in the dark. Now, this week is World Space Week, an international celebration of science and technology and their con uh, contribution to the betterment of the human condition, particularly when it comes to the universe and our place in it. And joining us in studio to chat about all things space is the MD of the South African National Space Agency, Dr. Leanne McKennell. Thank you very much for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me here. And may I just say happy birthday, Expresso, from the South African National Space Agency. Thank you very, very much. M might you possibly send a message into outer space saying happy birthday? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can do that at sir. But um, talking about the organization, uh, and, and obviously you're somebody that's dedicated their life to uh, all the wonders of space exploration and, and what it all means to us. Um, what excites you? What gets you waking up every morning um, about the work that you do? Um, it's about discovery, it's about curiosity, it's about generating new knowledge and knowing that every single day when I go to work, I'm part of something that's going to make a new discovery. Mm -hmm. There's going to be something out there that we find that nobody else has found before, that novel concept, that innovative idea, that new knowledge that nobody knows about, yeah. that will better our lives in the future. Mm -hmm. And knowing that I'm part of that is what gets me up in the morning and keeps me going. Yeah. And if you had to uh, explain to somebody who'd just heard of SANSA for the very first time, the South African National Space Agency, and tell them a bit more about the important work that you do every single day that actually makes life a little bit easier for us here. I would say that um, space is, uh, is an exciting discovery. Mm -hmm. It's a novel concept, but it's also something that's very close to home. Uh -huh. And what the South African National Space Agency has undertaken to do is to take space and bring it closer to the lives of the people to make space a usable concept for us, mm -hmm. um, to find out how could space better our lives, uh, whether it be through climate change, whether it be through the use of satellites for GPS, for mobile uh, communications, for anything like that. How can we make space closer to your home? How can we make it improve your life? How can we make the technology that you're so dependent on reliable? How can we ensure that you have that technology still working mm -hmm. um, in the future? Uh, we, we want to use space for the betterment of lives of the South Africans. Yeah. And then we also want to create that, light that candle, uh, create that excitement in science and technology. This country really needs scientists, engineers, te te technologists, yes. people, innovators. Yeah. And um, what a better way to get young people excited than through space. And I think when you're talking about excitement, I think no greater excitement has come than news of recent times that there's been water discovered on Mars. Now, so what's the significance of a discovery like that? Well, firstly, um, what we must realize is that um, it, what, what sustains life as we know it is our atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And the atmosphere has a large component of water. And so when we go looking uh, for life on another planet or we look for another habitat for life form as we know it, one of the first components we look for is water. And so the fact that NASA have seen evidence, and I must just say that they have not actually found water, they've found the evidence, evidence of, of yes. water on Mars, is something that shows them that um, they were right to go looking in Mar at Mars. Yeah. And also, it's, it's, like, it's lit that fire yeah. that says we should keep looking because clearly there's something there and there's something in it. Yeah. And um, NASA and ESA both have very strong Mars missions. Um, they're looking to, to, to send people to Mars to find out if it's possible to recreate the atmosphere that there once was on Mars mm -hmm. and also to learn from what happened to Mars's atmosphere. And what it does show us is that it is very, very important for us to look at our atmosphere, look at the, the space between Earth and the Sun, and to really understand how it works and yeah. how we can protect it mm -hmm. so that we can sustain life on Earth. Indeed. And we can learn from these discoveries that they make on other planets. Wow. Really, really exciting things indeed. And thank you very, very much for bringing us news all the way from Sansa. And I'm, 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 I'm actually very serious. Send out a message into outer space. I don't know how you telephone the satellites and tell them to broadcast to the world. Happy birthday, Expresso. <laughs> we'll do our best. <laughs> Thank you very much, Doctor. And there you have it. I think perhaps maybe when you think about these things, not a bad idea to sometimes just stop and look at the stars every now and then and really appreciate the planet that we have. Because we often forget how much work goes into making even just the television that we are watching right now work at home. So appreciate that science and technology. Now, speaking of knowledge of the outer space, we asked a very interesting question on Facebook. Let's see whether you know the answer.